Hello, everyone. So good to be here with all of you, especially to celebrate our Women's Day, right? International Day. Thank you uh, to Rob and Judy for setting things up and uh, to be on this wonderful, you know, team to do this talk. I thought about the, uh, the talk that we want to do, and I think probably talk about the leadership women, especially for women, to step into the leadership role. I think that will be my talk. Uh, in this talk, what I want to do is just briefly outline five myths and also truth about the leadership, and also why should NS women get involved in leadership roles, and what are the strategies that we can use to develop ourselves as leaders. So this will be the main thing in this 10 minutes, 10 slides talk. So the first myth that we also hear, often hear is leadership is not for everybody. Leadership is born. Actually, this is absolutely not true. No one is a born leader. And then actually leadership skills can be developed and cultivated through leadership development opportunities, dedication and the willingness to learn, and most importantly, through constant practice. We need to learn to lead by you know, doing things, by leading things. So that's the way we develop leadership. And then uh, the next myth that I want to talk is uh, leadership, it's a position. So you need to have a title to be a leader. Actually, that's not true either. So in a very helpful book that I have read, and uh, so I have read many times by Cones and Posner, they published their book first in uh, 2012. Now they have a new edition last year, 2017. This is what they say. Leadership is not a place, it's not a gene, it's not a secret code. Leadership is an observable set of skills and abilities. What does that mean is we can develop our skills and abilities through practice, through taking risks and getting involved in different leadership roles and then develop leadership skills. And also another thing, a title itself doesn't qualify you as a leader. We know many people, we don't have to even name them. They have a title as a leader, but they're not effective leader at all. So this is something that we need to keep in mind. A title doesn't qualify yourself as a leader. So that's the second myth that I want to demystify. And the third myth that I'm thinking and then to share is leaders are always in the spotlight and leading from the front. So you have to be a leader. You have to be always in the front. So that's the way that people see the leader. And actually that's, that's not true either. Leaders don't really need to be always in the spotlight and they can lead from behind and from periphery. Good leaders actually are very good team players and good listeners. And we can see leaders because one, sometimes you need to be in the spotlight. You need to lead uh, you know, from the front. But many times you can lead from behind and also you can lead from periphery. Because you have a team, you need to have everybody demonstrate their leadership skills. Everybody takes a role in making the task done, in accomplish the task and also carry out the course that we all believed in. So be flexible and in different multiple roles and then don't always make sure yourself always in the spotlight. You may align, uh, you know, uh, isolate yourself for being in the spotlight all the time. So you have to learn how to be a good listener, be a good team player, and then in different roles and also lead from periphery. That's very, very important that to remember because sometimes low key is not a bad thing to be a leader. People feel you are closer and they were willing to talk to you and then you can actually get a lot of things done than just stay on the stage and then take all the you know, uh, credit and things. <clears throat> the fourth myth is it's not possible for an unnested woman to become a leader. 
So, oh, we are not native speakers, especially I'm talking about professional organizations like TSO and ILA, IATFO and then ILA. So actually, this is not true either. Now we can see it's not only possible, but actually it's a reality. Look at this panel that, the, you know, all these wonderful photos we have for our EFL talks today and tomorrow. So these are wonderful leaders that I've been learning from all of you all these years. And that it is a reality. We are in the leadership role and we are doing amazing things. Today, we have so many NEST women take on leadership roles in TSO. Triple AL, ILA, IATFO, and you name it, and also in different organizations and higher education institutions. So that is very, very exciting and encouraging to see the changes that we have and in our you know, professional careers. However, this myth actually lead to the last myth that I'm going to talk about is, okay, so because we have so many NEST women who have been taking on leadership roles and now the road is wide open and then the doors are wide open for them. So there's no obstacles. There's no challenges for them anymore. So they should, you know, kind of take for granted. So that maybe some people even will say that might be too many. Actually, absolutely not true. The truth is we're not there yet and we still have a long way to go. And because we as NS are still considered from the periphery. So we need to be aware of all the challenges that we face and then also develop strategies to overcome those challenges. So the next slides, I'm going to briefly outline some of the strategies that I have used and also many other people have used and shared. I hope this will be helpful for us to further develop our leadership skills because we only have 10 minutes. So I just put all of them together into one slide. Act now. If you feel that you have not been involved in leadership roles yet, act now. You know, now is the time. And then you can start small with your local associations and with your local groups. And then also very important to contact a personal SWOT analysis. Find out your strength and your weaknesses and also what opportunities you may have and also the challenges that you may face. And then develop a realistic plan, a realistic plan to see how you can get where you want to be. And also another thing is participate in leadership training uh, sessions. TSO offers wonderful leadership development certificate program. And also there are many other associations and also organizations uh, offer workshops on leadership. You may want to participate in, in them and also read publications about the leadership. I think the book I just mentioned will be a very good book for you to start with. And also learn organizational structures and also governance rules because uh, these are important. Different organizations have different uh, cultures. We need to learn those rules and the cultures so we can uh, navigate smoothly in those uh, organizations. And I don't have time to share my story started uh, with TSO, but I have learned a great deal for working with many, many wonderful people and also faced a lot of challenges. Um, so and I, another important thing is have a mentor. So there's a typo, have a mentor. You can have multiple mentors, a, 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 many mentors, and or a body that can help you and lead you. And also the person can give you honest uh, feedback, not just always praise you, can give you criticism. And then, so you know, what are the things you did right? What are the things you need to be more mindful? Have a body and then a mentor, it's extremely important. You may have multiple mentors. So for me, I have really quite a few mentors, you know, in my entire career. They are very helpful. I'm very, very thankful to them. Another thing is collaborate and then pave ways for yourself and also for others. For those who are already in the leadership roles and now we need to uh, create opportunities for young people and for, uh, you know, people who would like to step into leadership roles and provide opportunities for them, advocate for them and also mentor them and also find the ways that help yourself to further 
advance your leadership skills. And also, again, I said, learn and to lead from different roles. That's also very important. Willing to step back, willing to step in, willing to step aside, and really willing to stay behind or lead in the front or from, you know, different roles. And also have a very positive attitude. That's extremely important. Sometimes you feel you've been beaten up or sometimes you, there are some obstacles. People have different opinions, different perspectives. But if you believe you are doing the right thing, your heart is in the right place. And so have a positive attitude. Always give people benefit of doubt. And then, uh, then you can make more friends. You can build your allies and build a community and also become persistent and don't give up easily. That's also important. So again, learn to lead by leading, by doing, because leadership development is a lifelong journey. That's something we always need to be, uh, you know, keep in mind. So the, my final slide is really, so I share the five myths. So we need to demystify those myths and also get the truth out and get involved in leadership roles in the regional, international, professional organizations. And also remember, successful navigation and the leadership development can be done by a single person or not overnight. It's a journey. And also it needs a whole community that we support each other and then we can develop as the leadership team, not just a single leader. So thank you. Xie xie. So I'm Yilin, not Wailin. I know a lot of people, uh, you know, kind of call me Wailin. I don't know what, who they are talking to. So that's the end of my presentation. Thank you so much. Lovely talking to all of you. So I hope to see many of you at TSO in Chicago this year.